subphylum Istilago mycotina. Now we will see what are all the important fungi that comes under Istilago mycotina. My name is Janet Shankar Reddy and I am doing PhD plant pathology in Anamal University. So subphylum Istilago mycotina is divided into Istilago mycetes and Exobacidio mycetes. So so many of fungi comes under this. Uh, so if we see this, you will get confused. We will see the important fungi. What are all the important fungi that we have to consider from Istilago mycotina? We will see. Here mostly Ustilaginales are smuts, smuts. So smuts are the most important uh, 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 fungi that we have to consider from Ustilago mycotina. Here uh, uh, smuts are comes under Ustilaginales. So the symptoms which improve the entire grains are converted or replaced by the black color powdery masses. That is the most important and prominent and diagnostic symptom of smuts. So all smuts we can see these grains though. Uh, the entire grains are replaced or converted into black color powdery masses. Black color powdery mass. If we touch that we can we can uh, we can sense the powder like substances. So we can see here uh, uh, entire grains are converted into black color powdery masses that is the diagnostic symptom of smuts so in histologino mycotina smuts are the important one that we have to consider so now we are going to see only about smuts only so a few of the economically important pathogens the, uh, which includes that i mean histologino that comes under histologino mycotina which includes corn smut that is which is caused by histologino medis then dwarf bunt of wheat that is called by tilicia controversa then common bunt, Tilicia, Tritisia, Tilicia levis or kernel bunt of wheat. The next one is kernel bunt of wheat that is caused by Tilicia indica. Then last one is flag smut uh, which is caused by Eurocystis agropyri. So these are the few of the economic important uh, uh, diseases or you know uh, bunts and smuts uh, that comes under Istilago mycotina. Now we will see the most important thing that is corn smut which is caused by Istilago mycotina and the second one is flag smut which is caused by Eurocystis agropyri. Here in corn smut, which is caused by Istilago medis, here we can, on the right side we can see the diagrams. The formation of galls are yes. So formation of galls are yes on leaves, stalks or tassels. Where this, what will happen here? The ears or leaves or stalks or tassels. So which is replaced by gall-like substance. We can observe here gall-like substances are uh, uh, observed here later on what will happen these gall like substances are converted into black color powdery masses so it, it is almost unfit for consumption so next one is flag smut of wheat which is caused by Eurocystis agropyri Eurocystis agropyri here deformation of tillus so we can see here tillus are deformed deformation of tillus a plant get twisted you can see a twisting of plant like you know uh, like spiral like uh, plant get twisted later convert into later stages this is this is stage by stage later convert into black color powdery masses black color powdery mass initially what will happen deformed tillers tillers are deformed infected plant get twisted and then later stages will convert into complete brown color or black color powdery masses so that is the flax metavis which is caused by Eurocystis agropyri now we will see uh, the difference between various mud diseases uh, of uh, sorghum so in sorghum we can see mainly we can see different type of uh, smut diseases so that is grain smut head smut loose smut and long smut these are all the different types of smut diseases that occur in sorghum now we will see one by one so grain smut is caused by spatulothica sorghi head smut is caused by spatulothica reliana whereas loose smut is caused by spatulothica cruenta and the long smut is caused by tolliposporium erenbergi the symptoms includes grains are replaced by smut sore in grain smut the name itself indicates grains are replaced by smut sore grains are replaced by smut sore in uh, head smut what will happen the entire head is or inflorescence is completely converted into smut spores here in grain smut grains are converted by smut spores whereas in head smut entire head or inflorescence is converted into smut spores whereas in lo loose smut majority of the ear portions got affected whereas in loose smut ear portion got affected in a long smut what will happen the florets or the grains are infected and the later stage what will happen they completely convert into black color powdery masses so the common thing is whatever the infection however the symptoms will start it ultimately leads to conversion of a black color powdery masses which are completely unfit for consumption so we can't able to see the grain because it completely turns into black color powdery masses so we can't able to even consumer we can't able to at least see the grains after uh, uh, severe symptoms so the sore size is small in uh, grain smut in head smut also small 
in a loose mat it is medium to long whereas in long mat it is a very large so it can be observed here in coming to columella in grain mat short columella can be seen in head mat columella is absent in loose mat columella is present and long mat columella is absent site of infection in grain mat the site of infection is ovaries in head mat inflorescence in loose mat and uh, long smut then uh, infection site or infection uh, uh, site is ovary the disease survival the grain smut survival as externally seed borne pathogen whereas head smut survives soil and seed borne pathogen loose smut survives externally seed borne and long smut is survival as air borne pathogen see here long smut only the air borne pathogen raw smut only air borne pathogen remaining all are seed borne pathogen that is grain smut head smut loose smut are seed borne pathogens except long smut which is air borne pathogen here coming to the spore survivability in soil so grain smut spores can survive more than 10 years in soil more than 10 years whereas in head smut can survive 2 years whereas loose smut survive 4 years and long smut survive 2 years so all these smuts can be effectively managed by the seed treatment with vitavax at the rate of 2 grams per kilogram of seeds so coming to the management all these smuts whatever the smut is that may be grain smut head smut loose smut or long smut it can be effectively managed by seed treatment with vitavax at the rate of 2 gram per kg of seeds so uh, we have seen the uh, rust and the smuts now we will see the difference between rust and smut so here rust comes under paxinio mycotina whereas smut comes under istilagno mycotina now we will see the description rust means red color rust pustule can be observed on stems and leaves whereas in smut what will happen the symptom the entire grains are converted into black color powdery masses that is the uh, important symptoms of rust and smut parasitism rust is strictly obligate parasite it can't able to culture on uh, artificial and nutrient medium whereas smut is facultative saprophyte class so rust comes under eudinales whereas smut comes under eustachianales the perfect spore a perfect spore is terminal the spores which are produced are terminally whereas smut spores are produced in intercalary so the number of spores produced for mycelium as i told rust only produce four rust produce four deciduous spore per mycelium whereas smut produce many in clump connection the secondary mycelium is rare in rust clump connection and secondary mycelium rare in rust whereas clump connection and secondary mycelium is very common in smut heterocious yes heterocious is common in rust whereas absent in smut polymorphism is distinct and whereas polymorphism is absent which means polymorphism is very common in rust because where the spores are you uh, know the same eurospore is converted into uh, teleospore then converted into basidia and then uh, you know spermation and then asia so it is called teleomorph sorry it is called teleomorphic store or distinctive spores which means Uh, it can ability to change their shapes into different formats or different forms that is called distinct or pleomorphic so coming to the nature all rusts are almost heterocious uh, in nature uh, few of other rusts also auto, few of the other rusts also reported to be autosious uh, now all smuts are uh, autosious only autosious only host two hosts are involved in our uh, life cycle of rust almost two hosts are involved as a seed in wheat uh, as we seed in uh, wheat stem rust two host that is main host is wheat the second host is barberry so almost requires two host in a smart only uh, one host is uh, involved or one host is required in their entire life cycle so the number of spores produced so here uh, wheat uh, uh, sorry stem rust or rust produce five stages that is pycniospore asiospore rhizospore teleospore and deciduospore whereas this four stages are absent in rust smart sorry smart Uh, so these are all the uh, general uh, differences uh, between a rust and smut